So if we're going to learn this standard query language, where can we actually use it? And what programs actually use SQL? Well, the list is actually quite massive. We have Microsoft Access, a database package. You build your database and you can query that data using the select statement. SQL Server itself, so it's Microsoft SQL Server, runs on servers but can be interrogated using the Management Studio. We have MySQL, querying MySQL databases. Usually works in configuration with PHP files, but you can still query the MySQL data directly. We have Paradox, another database system. We have Oracle, another database system. We have Firefox, another database system. We have Excel even. Excel can use SQL commands. We have FileMaker, another database system. We have a variety of online tools that are available for interrogating backend server-based databases. And then a massive number of bespoke programs that are designed and built with databases underlying them that you can use the standard query language to interrogate the data beneath. Crystal Reports, for example, also has the ability to use SQL commands directly to interrogate the data below that report. Well, let's have a look at a couple of these examples in play. We're going to have a look at Microsoft Access, SQL Server, and an online tool that allows you to experiment and play with SQL. So here in Microsoft Access, and we have a sample database in your working folders to look at, we can use SQL directly ourselves by creating a new query in design, cancelling the show window option and choosing SQL view. Now it gives you for free the first of the keywords, which is select. It also likes the end of the command to have a semicolon, but still works without it. I'm just going to go to the left of that. And then I can enter in select asterisk, so the wildcard character for everything, from, so the keyword from, and then the table I would like to select the data from, which is TBL employees. One advantage of Microsoft Access is the navigation pane here. So you can actually see the tables that are in the data. And then I can change the view to data sheet view, and I will see all the columns from TBL employees. So that's in SQL view in Microsoft Access. Data sheet view, you can see then the columns. So I have title and surname, for example. I can then swap my wildcard character for title, surname. And then when I view, I see the title and the surname. So everything that we're about to cover in writing and working with standard query language will work here in Microsoft Access in query design in SQL view, where you can actually write the standard query language yourself. Another location is the SQL Server, which uses Management Studio. Now in the Management Studio, you have a query window, just like Microsoft Access, where you write your SQL and a navigation pane on the left. The bigger advantage to the navigation pane here is that yes, I can see the tables, but I can also, if I expand a particular table, see the columns within that table without having to view first or look at the design. So I can still see those while I'm writing my SQL. So select for my keyword, and then the columns I'm interested in. So it's FN, SN, region, from and then the table tbl contacts and then i can run that and then i see first name the surname and the region from my tbl contacts the third option that i was going to demonstrate is an online tool now this particular online tool called compileonline.com is not unique and a quick google search will uncover other tools that are available now here in compileonline.com we're looking for a particular file which is forward slash execute underscore sql underscore online dot php into which we can then type our own sql to test it out now i have some code for you to paste into here if you open up the text file online sql test dot txt you'll find it has some example code that we can copy come around to the compile online and then paste because here we have to build the actual table, put the data in before we can make the interrogation. So we drop a table called example, just in case it already exists. And we create a table called example with three columns, an ID column, a heading column, and a title column. And we then insert into that example table, the data for five records. So five IDs, five titles, and five lots of content. And begin transaction and commit are the start and end point for a block of code that must all work together. So we must be able to drop the table, create the table and insert into the table. And then we can select all the columns from this example table. Notice that the command line for each line has a semicolon at the end. Without those semicolons, this particular script does not work. And then we execute the script and our result appears on the right hand side. 
that we can see the select statement pulling out the three lots of columns from the five records. And we could then manipulate our example table by adding in where clauses or not pulling out all the columns. So this is just an example of being able to use SQL in an online editor. So we've looked at three possible locations, the SQL Server Management Studio that works with SQL Server, Access, which works within Access, and then this online tool. But each of the other databases we've already mentioned have their own tools for entering, running, testing, and saving your SQL statements.